we're gonna stick you guys down there and you'll be able to at least get a, a glimpse as to what it is. There is some airflow. I glanced over, I saw this, and I'm like, holy crap, that's a train bridge. Oh, what do we have here? That, uh, looks like it goes underground. And finally we come up here to the last few pieces of it. Now I'm even more confused, holy crap. This item right here in front of me has been hiding in plain sight for my entire life. I've actually driven past this wall hundreds of times and it wasn't until a few weeks ago that I decided to look into it a little bit more and try to figure out what it is. And what we're looking at is the remnants of a rail line and a bridge. This line actually came across the road and went by the location of Pittston Commons and back in the day that was the location of a colliery. I'm not sure if this was a spur or holding line or a main line, but we're going to climb up behind that wall and show you what remains of this line today. This will actually be my first time checking it out, so come along with me and let's check it out together. So just to put things into context, I'm going to show you on Google Maps where I'm standing right now. Whether it's Google Earth or Google Maps I'm using, and the wall is right here in front of me, which was part of a bridge because this line came out and went across in this direction towards that tree line. And up ahead is Pittston Commons, and back in the day was a big colliery with a breaker, and the rail line went right next to it. And we were able to confirm that on the old black and white maps, aerial maps. But looking at today, can't really tell what it is other than just a wall, but once we get up behind it, we're gonna see remnants of that line. I don't think there's rails, but there is ties. You can definitely see a rail bed. And we're gonna walk it to show you where it terminates because it actually used to continue northeast further. So let me climb up there and we'll get started. All right, I safely ascended the hill and we're now on top of and behind the wall and there's actually a few things we're going to be checking out up here because I'm looking around and it's more than just what's immediately in front of us. It's also a bit breezy so just have to uh, bear in mind that the conditions are not favorable. It's cloudy, it's breezy, but it's dry and it's not very cold so we're going to make the best of it. All right, so we're kind of up here on the corner now. You can see this is like a square. Would have been something there like a post. And it's actually a metal plate right here too. See the old rebar. Up on top of it now, got a pretty good view. Pittston Commons is straight over there. And there's an active Norfolk Southern line just through the tree line over there. We can see a few different walls. So we got that main front, larger, thicker wall. Behind it, a secondary, smaller wall. Now, looking here, you can actually see the rail bed. It's flat, level, elevated, rounded on the sides. So it would have came across diagonally, kind of following the grass down there, past the truck and down that way. I'm actually even with the power lines here too. Pretty high up. There's a notch section here. Almost resembles like a little, uh, dump area, like a coal dump. As we come up further and move around here, we could see some of these posts I was mentioning. These are pretty much like railroad ties, but they're inserted here vertically. And I don't know if there would have been something attached to them. Could have been a marker, signal. 
A lot of rail ties discarded here, so that's clear evidence this was the rail line. But before we continue down the line, I want to bring you down here because there's a really nice looking stone retaining wall. It's all flat stone and it's holding up incredibly well. On top we could see they used some rail ties as like a cap or a topper. There's old nails sticking out, some of it's covered in nature's carpet. But yeah, these are just, you know, relatively flat, rectangular shaped stones to form a retaining wall for the rail line, which would have been up above here. Standing next to it, the wall itself is less than six feet tall. Lengthwise, end to end, maybe 25, 30 feet, not real big. But it's kind of also in between a little rock cut area here, so I don't think anything came through here. I think the land was just altered when they were creating the rail line, but that wall is holding up incredibly well. I'm gonna snap a few photos of it, and then we're gonna climb back up on top and walk the rail line. See more evidence of ties laying in place and they're adjacent to the edge of the wall. So again, it's just confirming that it's going off diagonally in the direction that we mentioned. Looking this way, this is looking towards DuPont. And over there is, <coughs> excuse me, Route 315 up over there. Pittston Walmart is up there somewhere. So it's just kind of putting things into perspective for those of you who are local and know the area. Like always, I know many of you are very knowledgeable or have more resources as far as identifying and piecing those puzzle pieces together. So if you have any more details on what we're showing today, I know, as always, I do appreciate any input and feedback or even corrections if I am wrong. The other thing I'd like to find out too is if, if this was a double line or not. It thinks... It thinks. I think it is wide enough for a double line, but that's just speculation at first glance. Unfortunately, no rails. I don't even see any plates or spikes or anything. Not to say they're not here. It's probably just buried under the leaves and debris. But there are numerous ties. And behind me here is that little rock cut area. And this land right here specifically is not posted. Where I came up by the wall, there's no posted signs. Actually, when I was getting out to start this video and do my intro, there's actually a policeman that drove by and just gave me a wave. So I do know further down where this line does terminate. And when I say terminate, back in the day, the line kept going. Where we're going to be able to go to today is terminated. It's posted there. So we're only going to go as far as we're allowed to legally. But enough of me rambling, let's continue on and see what we could find along this old rail line. Nice mound of squishy carpet there. A lot of these ties are just discarded. They're just laying randomly. They're probably just tossed when they picked up the rails. You can see more of them in place here though, closer to the edge. They are, for the most part, laying in their original position. Now coming down the slope here, there's a dirt hill, like a slope. The concrete wall's over there, but there's um, a wooden retaining wall. It's made out of ties. It's almost like cribbing. They're just stacked and placed there to keep the ground, the earth from eroding, falling down. So we have a, a wooden wall dirt slope and the concrete bridge wall over there. I hear choppers. I hear them, I don't see them. I heard them for like the last two minutes now, like a hum. We're not terribly far from the airport, so most likely they're heading over there. 
There's people driving by, looking up like, what's that guy doing up there? Just exploring some old rail line history. Post, more posts. So that wooden wall I mentioned is basically right in front of us here and kind of fades out to nothing. From here on, it's just natural embankment and landscape, but again, more of those posts. May have been a guide rail here, maybe a railing. Probably unlikely, but I'm just trying to think of what these posts would have been for other than just... These ones I'm thinking actually is to keep the wood in place so they don't fall forward. Just like a brace. Just looking at the landscape here and notice something right here. I just want to take a closer look at it. What is that? Huh. We have some darkness down there. <clears throat> You can see the void here, the separation. And uh, it doesn't go very deep this way, but down here, I'm gonna try to stick you guys down there and you probably won't be able to see much because it is dark, I don't have a flashlight with me. I wasn't anticipating on finding anything like that, but we're gonna stick you guys down there and you'll be able to at least get a, a glimpse as to what it is. There is some airflow. These leaves are moving here. So, I don't know, let's take a look and see. You guys see anything? I won't be able to see it until I watch it on playback, so hopefully it looks like something good. I can feel a little bit of air. What is it? Is it a natural cave? Is it a connection to the underworld? I don't know. I guess I'll find out on playback. If need be, I could come back with my longer seven foot stick, attach a flashlight to it and get a better view. But who knows? Right next to the rail line could be anything. There's definitely a breeze. It's not warm air at all. It's just a breeze. I wonder if it connects out to the uh, side of the embankment here. If there's warm air, I would say I would come back with my thermal gun, but I don't feel any warm air, I just feel airflow. Well, it's interesting. Right now we're looking towards where we started. Up there is behind that wall where the line ends started, however you want to look at it. That part I just showed you with that little crevice is down here to the right. And that's looking towards like the rock cut area. As we come farther back now, the line kind of levels out with the landscape. So there's not as much of a, a dip. And it's for the most part pretty flat here. And by all the trees here too, you can tell this has been a non-existent former rail line for a few decades, if not longer. I don't have any knowledge or know-how as to what train company operated on here when it was built and when it was last used. Not to say the information is not out there, but as of the making of this video, I don't have that. But if anything is shared and we could get some uh, confirmation of that, I will add information to the description or the pinned comment. Okay, so that little temporary flat part was short-lived. We are getting now back to another dip in the landscape, like a ravine. Oh! May have found something. I spy with my two eyes some concrete foundations down there. I had no idea those existed. I think we need to investigate those. We're going to save that till last. We'll come back and check those out. They were for something. And maybe we'll get a, an answer when we get down there, get a closer look at it. So I've said time and time again, 
and it just holds true today. <clears throat> rail lines, specifically old rail lines, are just full of unique, interesting, and one-of-a-kind things. I love walking old rail lines. Even though there's no rails here today, we're just finding things, though, all around it. And who knows what that could have been. But, again, it's along the rail line, so it probably had something to do with it. Did find this. Not sure that's rail related or not. Gaining some elevation here now. Actually, we're not gaining elevation. Actually, let me retract that. Looking at this, this is going at a little slight incline, I believe. So coming towards me, it's like a little down, down slope, if that makes sense. So when I say we're gaining elevation, that's because that landscape is dropping down. Now we have a really unique feature coming up here, which I found just a few weeks ago, which has made me, which made me re realize that this is something more than just a wall back there. We're coming to an old bridge. And it's impassable but there is a way around it. But this is why I initially spotted looking through the woods here as I was driving and spotted this. And this is what gave me confirmation that this was a rail line. Here we are. Look at that. That is a heck of a drop too. Holy crap. Can't go any further. I'm getting a little nervous here. So you can see the the step down. That's where the uh, bridge supports would have been. Rails on top and then, you know, the rails would have just came on. Here's a good perspective though with how wide it is. I think it is wide enough for two lines. But they went to a lot of effort, not only to remove the line, but like anything associated with it. I mean, they took out the supports, took out ties, took out the rails. But this is a pretty massive, I guess you could say, height bridge. It's not um, not overly significant, but it's taller than it is wider, if that makes sense. I'm guessing back in the day there would have been some water flow. Either that or it would have been a pass-through for equipment. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. I'm going to have to get down there. And we're going to have to climb up the other side to continue. And over there it gets really, really thick. I don't know how much further we're going to be able to go. But I'm going to, I'm going to press on. Also, once we're down there too, I'm going to just give you a sense of scale as to how big this is. Because the camera doesn't do it justice. Once you see me walking in between there, you realize actually how tall they are. But also how close together. So let me safely make it down there and we'll pick up from there. Now that I'm down here, I'm pretty certain this was not for water. I don't see any evidence of that, unless that's something I changed over time, where it just kind of got re-altered, changed its course of path. I'm thinking this was <clears throat> for equipment or vehicle access, even people, which is probably what it's used for today, but it's wide enough for a vehicle and for probably most equipment and no evidence of a, a water source. I also can't find any dates, no stamps, no nothing confirming a construction build date. But it is tall. If I was to guess the uh, gap here, I'd say eight to 10 feet, probably closer to 10 from side to side. But now I need to climb up on this side and see how much further we can continue. But this is what led me to making this video today. Finding this, driving on that road, and that's why it always pays to keep your eyes searching, 
keep your head on a swivel safely. It's even better if someone's driving and you're the passenger where you can really pay attention, but I glanced over, I saw this, and I'm like, holy crap, that's a train bridge. Got a good sized tree here growing on the side of it. You know what, I'll keep you, keep you rolling with me. We'll climb up together. Pretty steep. A lot of big rocks here, a lot of leaves. I'm actually gonna go under. All right, <clears throat> we are near the top here. There's also homes down there below us, so I'm not gonna make too much noise. I'm not gonna go down there as their property. But here we are on the other side. Line continues. I want your feedback down below. Comment, do you think this was a double line or just one? My hunch is that there was two lines here. Got a bit of a depression here. Almost like a little cave-in of sorts. Now I think there's a little bottle dump here too. Concord grape jelly. Evan Williams honey. That ain't no honey. That's 70 proof. It's a big bottle. Oh, prescription bottles. Right aid prescription. There's a little dump here. I don't really want to dig into it. I'm not sure what there's any sharp objects. So now it gets to be pretty thick, pretty tricky. I'm still able to keep going, but I don't think we could go terribly farther. But I'm gonna get past all this and I'll bring you aboard somewhere down there. I got confirmation of a set of ties here, closer to the left side, facing towards where we started. Pretty confident there is one line here. I can't find any confirmation of ties over here. So, oh, bunny rabbit. Oh, look at little chocolate candies. A lot of chocolate candies here. It's nice of someone to leave them here for us. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm guessing, now I'm wondering if maybe one of these sections of lines were removed earlier than the other. Since we got ties here and none over here, maybe this line was taken out of service earlier. That's what I'm coming up with. Or again, could just be one line and it could have been maybe an access road next to it. Unfortunately with those old black and white images, you can't get really great detail so you don't know other than what it's able to show within its um, clarity as to what was actually here. We can only make out that it was an actual rail line. As we're making our way back, let me kind of fill you in on some more information. So I'm going to show you as we talk about it, this line did continue past where we're going to stop today. And it continued northeast towards like a Voca and from there i don't know where it went but on the old black and white maps it does show that this did parallel the road down here and this road crosses over both norfolk southern and reading northern lines there's a bridge that goes over them <clears throat> this line also had its own dedicated bridge that went over those lines and i think there's still bridge abutments there today if i'm not mistaken but just uh, prior to crossing that bridge going over the road, there was another coal, I think it was a breaker site. I think now it's a strip mining site. It's an active construction area or active business. But this line continued, went over a bridge over what is today Redigan Northern, 
or something down here, and Norfolk Southern. Went right next to the road bridge. But sometime between when this line went out of service and a few decades ago, there was a development created back here called Quail Hill. Quail Hill is a relatively newer housing development. Some pretty nice homes back there, but the road to get up to it basically went right, went right through. I'll talk about that in a second. It went right through this rail line. So the line would have continued. I'll show you where it kind of stops at. But the cre creation of that development and the access road basically wiped away a good portion of this line that would have continued past that coal site that's in operation today and would have went across the bridge across the track. So that is kind of where our stopping point is going to be. It's somewhere up ahead. But down here, if you could see, there's actually walls or a fence or something. Just very random. I don't know why it's there. There's actually sections of it. One section there, another there, another there. I want to continue on the line first. When we return, we'll check down there and then we'll make it back to those ruins that we saw down below those uh, foundations. I don't know what the heck that would be for. <clears throat> uh, there's actually something else up here. What is going on? And I say that just to myself, what is going on? Uh, just finding odds and ends. There's a pipe there. This, at first glance, it kind of resembles like a retention pond. And it's like a high drain there. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. We'll come back to that. It's getting really thick here now. And right up there is the road I was mentioning. That is access or the roadway to enter the Quail Hill development. So the homes are further up there. So despite it getting really thick, we're not gonna be able to go much further at all. We're still on the rail line, but it looks less like a rail line right now. So just up here, there is a, <clears throat> a chain going across, connected to those posts, and it's posted there for up there. This, I think, does kind of gradually meet down somewhere close to the rail line. The road is maybe 40 feet up there. But I'm more, more focused, more concerned on the actual rail line itself. The one thing I could see clearly is this is being pushed down towards the rail line. This was altered, made the way it is for the construction of the road. As we're going down this way, we're getting closer and closer to the road. So this was obviously, obviously, you know, worked with heavy equipment and impeded towards the rail line. And that's basically where we're going to run into a blockage up here. All right, we've reached the end, both with a natural roadblock and man-made construction. The road is just up here. I actually heard a car drive by just a second ago. I'm going to show you on the maps where I'm at presently, but this is not a very long section of line. Going across the road, there may be more remnants of a rail line there, a rail bed. But I don't think there is, but it does go next to that active coal company, which I think is doing strip mining, if I'm not mistaken. So not a whole lot of section of line left. There's definitely nothing left going the other direction. 
but this is probably the most intact source of this old rail line. And even as far as back here, I'm still finding a couple ties here and there. But what I'm gonna do now is backtrack. We're gonna make pit stop number one at those fences or walls. What it looks to be to <laughs> what it looks to appear to be a retention pond of sorts. But again, it doesn't add up. It'll make more sense once I show it to you. We'll investigate that. Then further up, we're gonna go down the other side, other side of the bridge that we crossed and show you those ruins and foundations down there. So don't go anywhere yet. There's still more to come. So you guys can see what I see. We we're just over there. That's the rail line. This is a makeshift wall. And there's a big pipe coming out with a cage around it. Down here, there's some gaps in it. I think they're looking for me. Coast is clear. Oh, what do we have here? It's like a pretty modern culvert pipe down there. It's the pipe leading in and out is basically that pipe right there. It's corrugated plastic. For some reason, the hatch is missing off of here. I could actually climb down there, I think, if I wanted to, but. No reason to. Now, I have seen retention ponds, you know, pretty regularly, especially around um, like factories, industrial parks, even some home developments have them. So I'm wondering if this is the retention pond for Quail Hill but it doesn't look like it's an active retention pond. I don't see any evidence of water <clears throat> other than maybe if it rains or there's snow melt. But we do have the wall here and there's gaps missing so it wouldn't even retain the water if it had to. Almost resembles like Pennywise's layer with the pipe, the holes in it when he comes through with the bright light. Ah, and we found essentially a toy, basketball. Somebody said in a, a different video I did, I asked if a basketball that we found as a toy. They said you could play with it, so it constitutes as a toy. All right, so I'm sure there's many of you out there who could explain better than I'm going to be able to. What I can make of this is that there is a debris cage around here, so if water was to get that high, the water could go in. Any big debris pieces like trees, basketballs would not make it inside the pipe. The water would go in and I'm guessing straight down. That also appears to be another drain, which I'm gonna try to confirm. I think there's a grate on top, more similar to like a roadside uh, stormwater drain. Water again came in this pipe's not even connected here, so that's not even working. It wouldn't work as intended. The water would just seep right out. So that's our confirmation there's a grate there, as I assumed, a pipe leading into this. So the water, I guess this is like a, let me see, are they the same height? I'm probably spending too much time on this more than necessary, but just trying to kind of show and explain best I can. I think the opening of that pipe and the top of this is very similar in height. As to why there'd be two different types of drains or spouts, I can't explain that. Uh, the pipe though, I'm guessing the water would have came in, went down, I think. I don't know, maybe we could confirm that by looking in here. I think it goes down. You guys are, I have you guys in as far as I could with my arm. I don't know if that goes down or stops right there. 
Again, I'll find out when I watch it back, but you're essentially in the pipe right now. And there's looking up. Whew. I was afraid I was going to drop you guys. That is what is down here. Overflow drains, temporary wooden wall, and it doesn't look like any of it's intended to work as it should. There's a gap between the pipes, there's a gap between the walls here. Alright, now we're going to cover some ground. I'm going to get back up on the rail line here, and we're going to get to the other side of that bridge, go down closer to the road, and check out those ruins. Alright, we found them. We're gonna get down there and we'll give it a once over. Whoops. So, just to show you proximity, Pittston Bypass right there, the upper road rail line right there, and step foundations higher to lower, coming all the way down to here. Like a right angle rod. I don't see any anchor bolts, but what I'm noticing, some of these are created with both brick and stone and concrete combination materials at least on this one here do get larger as we get up this one's actually curved I'm gonna revisit the old black and white maps and see if we could see this on there if it if I could find it on there I'll show it on the screen right now as to what was placed here really close to the rail line but these are not squared off Fully. Some of them, like this one, I guess it has a big curve to it. Big sweeping curve. Almost looks like a drain port there as well. And it actually curves off right around the bend there. Keeps going. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like it goes underground. It looked like you could just barely slither in there if you hold your breath. I'm not going to try to do that today, but if I come back, I'll have to bring a flashlight, bring my long selfie seven-footer stick, stick you guys down there. I have zero clue as to what this is. We're standing on another section of it, and it's like sections. It's like squared off. Really close to the roadway here. I'm baffled as to what this is. This could be... Uh, a building site could have been a type of little pavilion or park I truly don't know yeah, this, this earth is giving way and this is actually kind of collapsing in there is a hollow space under here whether it's man-made or natural that's why this is caving in lifting up it's falling in on itself I'm not gonna step on that but uh makes you wonder if there's any subterranean things going on beneath us next layer here brick stone some concrete and finally we come up here to the last few pieces of it now I'm even more confused holy crap <laughs> so this is a, a ramp huh what do you guys think? You know, what are your assumptions so far? It would be kind of cool to kind of come back here and uh, bring like a rake and shovel and clear off the debris here and see if there's anything underneath. Seeing this, was this like a ramp going into a building? Like a pedestrian ramp? Is this like an outdoor park? I don't know. It's another 
baffling discovery. But we wouldn't have seen this if we didn't walk the rail line. Even though the road's close, this blends in far too much. And come summertime, you won't see this at all. This will be completely hidden and disguised. This ramp just threw a, a wrench into my assumptions and my thoughts. I think it's one of two things. Either we're looking at the site of some type of buildings or structures, or it could have been like a outdoor pavilion, amphitheater type thing. That's really far-fetched, I think. But I don't see signs of buildings. I see signs of just plateaus and steps and different layers here. No anchor bolts for equipment. I do see a metal post up there. I might show you that before we head back out. Yeah, any thoughts you guys have at all, would love to hear them. But this, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in the comment section. I thought I found it all, but there's the ramp. And there's more up here, and it's curving again. And it's like a sidewalk. It comes down here. Squared off section. Another level right here. And as mentioned, there is a pipe up here. With some more evidence of something here. That's almost like a, for a railing. What was here? What took place? The more I'm finding, the more I'm thinking it's not a building. Another railing down there, another handle. There's even more signs of something here. Look at this. Squared off post. Completely square. The notch in it. Kind of resembles like a survey marker. There's nothing mounted for like a bracket for a railing. But this could be filled in. This might go down. Maybe there was a, <clears throat> a handrail system here. Really bizarre. This was completely unexpected and I'm glad we found it because it'd be sitting back here also hiding in plain sight. <clears throat> and that's what it's doing. It's hiding in plain sight. It's out here. It's visible but no one sees it because it just blends in so well. I do have to be honest with you. Coming out here to do this video, I thought it was gonna be a really short video. I thought it'd be done in like less than 20 minutes. I'm actually out here over an hour and a half, especially finding those bonus finds, the retention pond and those stepped ruins and just Miraculously, I stopped here to talk to you guys. I looked down. Look what I found. <laughs> look at that. I know my friend Robin could identify this. Do you guys know what it is? Maybe raccoon? I think it's too big for a squirrel. But it's completely clean and picked. And the uh, rest of it's there. I'm actually going to take this. This is a nice little find here. Again, you never know what you find along old railroad ruins. I will be paying attention to Facebook comments of my post and YouTube comments because I know some of you out there have more knowledge as to what we saw today. I shared what I could, which is better than nothing, but I am limited to my research skills and sources.
With that being said, though, I want to thank you for coming along for this Railroad Ruins adventure. And we're able to trace an old rail line that once went past a colliery, which I didn't even know was located at Pittston Commons. That's something else I learned during my research. So, I guess we'll all learn together upon the playback of this video. And if I do find more like this, obviously we will come out and check them out. I do know of a few others, uh, just off the top of my head, that have rails and that are going through parts of the city. I wish we found some rails here. Even plates or ties or spikes. Well, we did find ties, but the other ones we didn't find. Would have been nice, but regardless, something that was hiding in plain sight my entire life, I now know what it is, know where it went to, and know that there's actually something else just alongside the, the rail bed here. And kids, if you're watching, if by chance you find those little chocolate kisses or what looks like Rolos or Hershey kisses or um, chocolate chips, don't eat them. They're not chocolate. I shouldn't have to say that, but I am saying it because I don't want to have anyone like, oh, look at JP said that's chocolate. Just have to have fun sometimes. All right, guys, I'm going to get back down, cross the road, get back to my vehicle and head out. And I'll see you guys real soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.